Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing really well out there. For today's video, we're going to be making and eating an incredibly popular, really famous dessert from the Philippines called Halo Halo, which literally translates as mix mix. Halo Halo is a layered dessert consisting of crushed ice, sweetened beans, fruit, ice cream, and then typically drizzled on top with condensed or evaporated milk. I firmly believe that if you want to get to know the culture of a country, you should do it through their food. Halo Halo perfectly describes summer in the Philippines. It's hot, it's sticky, and Halo Halo is the perfect dessert for a really warm summer's day. It's just a shame it's really cold in the UK at the moment. <laughs> I think the first thing we should do is look at this Halo Halo mix. Yeah, because you've only ever had Halo Halo from a Halo Halo mix before. I think there's like coconut strips, mm. jackfruit, palm sugar hearts, maybe some beans, like red beans and white beans. White beans, yeah. Oh, it's very sweet though. I like the idea of having like fresh fruit in it, if we can. Mm -hmm. So if we can do something about getting like fresh coconut or jackfruit, mm -hmm. but I think mm -hmm. jackfruit we might struggle with, so that might have to come out of the yeah. can. We're gonna try and put as much effort into this as possible, so why not make it from scratch? For sure, I'd definitely say, like when I've made it out of the jar before, it is not half as good as the ones that I've had in like the Philippines or even at like Mamasons that had like the fresh homemade ingredients. Awesome. In. Red beans as well, they're my favorite. Okay, we've got to get those in. One thing that I remember someone mentioned in the comment section that, that I thought was really cool was to use crushed shaved ice milk rather than using water, so yeah. we'd make milk ice cubes and then we'd blend them up and put them in. That's such a good idea. What normally goes in is either halaya or ube ice cream, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I don't see the harm in using both. No, me neither. Seeing as we have to make halaya to make ice cream anyway. Something I'm really excited about the idea of and someone said in the comment section was to have leche flan. I feel like that a lot of people said that in the comment yeah. section. Something else that other people mm -hmm. suggested mm -hmm. was tapioca pearls. Probably talking about like the little sago ones, mm -hmm. but I know we also have those big black sugar tapioca pearls that go into bubble tea. So I'd be really excited to get cool. them in. Yeah, I'm up for that. I don't know what tapioca pearls are, but that sounds awesome. Somebody suggested guinea pig, but I don't know if we can actually get that. So I, that is. <laughs> I think it's like toasted, crunchy little rice bits, but somebody else suggested just use cornflakes. So really keen to get that in. And then we top it off with some condensed milk. Condensed milk, evaporated milk, and off we go on a delicious journey of halo halo. And now we just need to decide what we're gonna serve it in. So. We've used this before and mm -hmm. it's gone everywhere. Yeah. So I'd be really keen on having something that has like a smaller bottom and like a wider top so mm -hmm. to make it easier to Mixy mixy. Well, this one is glass. This one is plastic as well. I think I like the idea of this one as well. More space for ube ice cream. Awesome. <laughs> and this is going to take a few days. There's a lot to make, particularly the leche flan. The ice cream will take at least a day. So where do we begin? I think we all need to start off with the halaya because that's what we'll need to make the ice cream. Awesome. The ube halaya is going to take roughly 45 minutes to make. Obviously the main ingredient is going to be ube and uh, some different types of milk as well. Like this one, which is, I don't know, <laughs> full cream evaporated milk. We've got condensed milk as well. Um, and coconut milk. And coconut milk, look at that. So ube halaya is, it's, 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 it's like ube jam. It's jam in that I guess it's cooked with sugar. If we tear this open, this will, should show you what ube halaya is meant to look like. It's very good. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. The ube halaya has a really nice sweet syrupy flavor, doesn't it? I'd say ube is like vanilla biscuits. So that's obviously really fragrant. Mm. So it's kind of like vanilla -y, mm -hmm. almost like a biscuit, like almost buttery. Mm -hmm. I can actually taste that smell. We're gonna make our ube halaya now. Probably the most laborious part of this will be the stirring for the 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger. A willing and able to do what you want. I'm just adding the ube to all of the milks and the sugar. And then we're gonna bring it up to a boil and then add some ube extract with stirring for like 45 minutes until it's thick, but spreadable. And you, you're just stirring it continuously for that time? Yeah, so it doesn't burn. Oof. I think we need to 
Take it in turns. I've done it before on my own, uh, but yeah, taking it in turns would be nice. <laughs> You look worried and maybe you should be Cause this is a warning that I'm throwing out Boy, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Down to obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Shouldn't be trusting me, I could be making it all up, you know so that's the ube halai complete. Now we just need to make the base for our ube ice cream, which we're gonna be using predominantly ube halai and also Chloe's ice cream mix, which is typically what, Chloe? A combination of milk, cream, sour cream, sugar, and other good stuff. Other good stuff. <laughs> So I've just dissolved the sugar in the milk over the stove. It's not hot, just warmed it up until it dissolved. Next, I'm gonna add the cream cheese to the ube halaya and then we'll gradually add this in and stir it in and then it just goes in the fridge. Good morning, everybody. So this is our ice cream base, which has been basically just chilling overnight in the fridge. We're now gonna finish assembling the ice cream, and then that is then gonna go into the ice cream machine, which will go into the freezer and start churning. that we're gonna use for our Halo Halo mix are in the pot. They're getting nice and hydrated. They're drinking lots of water because tomorrow they'll be nice and full and much easier to cook and prepare. The ice cream is done as well. It's in the freezer, it's complete. It's been a few hours since we started making it and it looks delicious. Had a little taste as well. Tastes pretty amazing too. We've gotta to go to bed now because tomorrow we're gonna to make the leche flan and then we get to construct and make and eat our Halo Halo. Good night. Good morning. So the beans have had a good opportunity to have a nice drink overnight and they're really full and ready for cooking. We're gonna pop those in the rice cooker to get them ready. And then we've just gotta make our leche flan, which is gonna be remarkably smaller actually than the last one we made because we're only gonna be using two egg yolks. Last time we used 10. These are British eggs. Unfortunately, we couldn't get any Filipino eggs well, apart from balut. That's something I really think we need to try at some point. We or you? Both of us, we're in this together. Are we? For sure. Look, the channel, channel, channel was called Johnny P's. Ah. How's the leche flan going, Chloe? Going good, I'm just trying to get a darker color than last time. We're gonna take it a little bit further and we're gonna go a little bit slower so I'm not as nervous about burning the sugar. And what can you expect in terms of the flavor? How does it differ? The caramel gets toastier and becomes less sweet and you get more of that caramelly, delicious flavor. Slightly too much sugar. <laughs> Just sweetening the beans so that they don't taste like savory beans, they taste like dessert beans. I love dessert beans. Oh wow, they smell amazing. <laughs> wow, 
happened. I just missed where I was supposed to go completely. As long as you don't cut your hand off. You've had a gin and tonic, remember? I know. <laughs> So I've got a leche flan, which I can confirm is very good. And I'm very pleased with the color of the caramel this time. And then we've got the ube halaya that we made. We've got some coco de nata, black sugar tapioca pearls, some sago, red beans sweetened, some young coconut, jackfruit, and toasted corn flakes. Somebody suggested that instead of using pity pig, we use corn flakes because I don't know where to get that from. I got this weight on my shoulders, slowing me down. I don't know how it came about. And while the world is spinning faster every night, I feel I'm stuck in reverse somehow. But it ain't no one's fault that I am stuck here. No one to blame this on. Feeling so hopeless. I keep on pouring salt on. So we're never doing frozen again? No, never doing frozen again. <laughs> this was too stressful. The whole combination of making the frozen food and then having to race to get it filmed. You've already got in. Mine's melted a lot more than yours. But Let's mix. I'm mixing. And, and you just, oh, it's so I'm understanding from the videos I've watched that you just got to get messy with it as well. It goes everywhere. Ube ice cream, leche flan, ube halaya down there somewhere with the milk, the iced, it's not crushed water. It's frozen milk. It's frozen milk. Mmm. I have my first bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The jackfruit is like bubblegum. Wait, that's insane. Mm -hmm. With that leche flan. We had it with leche flan a while ago and I loved it so much. I think I've got a bit of everything here. I'm gonna do some leche flan, mm -hmm. some ube, mm -hmm. and take a big spoonful and then. I've definitely lost my leche flan. I don't even know where I'd find it. Yeah, that's true actually. <laughs> it's in there somewhere, everyone. Mm. Mm. Red Horse and Hallow Hallow, it's probably not the combination that everyone would go for. It's Saturday night here, so we've had a, well, I've had a couple of beers, you had a gin tonic. It's, uh, it's the weekend. My favorite part is definitely the beans. I haven't got there yet. I haven't got there. I've been hanging around too much at the top. I need to do a better job of mixing. I haven't even got to the ube halaya yet. Ooh. I think this is the best ube ice cream I've made. Because you've made ube ice cream in the past. It's been a bit potatoey, hasn't it? It's been really starchy. The recipes that I followed used the frozen grated ube rather than halaya. And this is the first time I've used halaya. The halaya with the beans? Mm hmm. The halaya with the beans and the coconut. And yeah, you're right, the jackfruit. It tastes like bubblegum. Oh I'm so excited about this. I almost want to get more crunchy stuff. Do you want to grab some cornflakes and sprinkle them on top? Mm hmm. I think I think an added added element of the added textural element. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever suggested the cornflakes. Thank you. Mm hmm. Mm. Delicious. Oh, you snooze, you lose. Fun fact about Hello Hello: it can be dated back or traced back to pre-Second World War. Oh. To the to the Japanese Filipinos who who ate a Japanese style of dessert called kaki gorli. Is that correct? Kaki gorli. K A K I G O R I. It's a Japanese. Kaki gori. Kak yes. Kaki gori. Kaki gori. Kaki gori. That's the style of Japanese dessert, which is very similar to this with shaved ice and sugar. And, and they were eating it back then, and sort of Halo Halo, I believe, developed from there. I can only imagine that this is better than whatever that was. The beans are my favorite part. Indeed. Mung beans in Tagalog, I believe, is mungo. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. A E I O U Mungo. Maybe you guys can help us with that one, but yeah. I mean, this is amazing. And once again, Chloe always smashes me when we do this. I was because you're the talker and I'm the eater. That's true. My ube ice cream just melted into it. Now I just have ube milk. Tell them about the floor. Our floor is covered in hollow hollow. Covered in it. I came to bring the cups over and they'd melted so much since. Since we finished them, they were like overflowing. <laughs> it was everywhere. I could literally bathe in this. I could eat another one. No problem. Oh, wow. I just got a massive dose of ube halaya. Mm-hmm. Ang mm. salat. Ang salat. It might just be one of my favorite desserts. Good we've got enough of everything for you to have it tomorrow. Yeah. One thing we would have loved 
would be Carabao mango. Mm -hmm. We did discuss the idea of getting mangoes and some people suggested that. Mango and avocado was a, was a funny suggestion, but we were very intrigued by that. Um, mango, <laughs> bloody hell's going on here? Thank you, had yours. <laughs> and I wasn't even snoozing, I was talking to people. I was snoozing. Snoozing, loo snoozing, losing? Snoozing, Lo losing, snoozing, no. Sno snoozing, Susan. You snooze, you lose. I'm calling you Susan from now on. Not Jolly. Jolly she's, Susan? She's been calling me Jolly ever since the Jolly Bee mukbang. The Nutter de Coco. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. I don't like nata de coco, mm. so I just didn't put it in so that I would enjoy my hala hala more. Whereas mm. I know you like it. I remember last time I picked it out and left it on the plate and you ate them all. <laughs> just straight off the plate. What can I say? I like nata de coco. I'm also really glad we toasted the corn plate. I feel like they're more corny when you toast them. Mm. They're also stale, so I don't have a lot of choice. That's good though. It's like it shows that if something goes stale, you don't need to chuck it away. There's still something you can use it for. Yeah, you just, just got to toast it. Yeah, just put it back in the oven. I mean, you don't even have to take it as far as toasting it. You can just heat it back up for a bit. Can you do that with anything stale? I've got stale biscuits, put them in the oven. Yes. I've got stale pajamas, put them in the oven. What? How are pajamas stale? I don't know. I couldn't think of anything else. Delicious. And then. Unsalap. Unsalap, ah, indeed. Ah. Ang, ang, ah, ang, ang salap. Ang salap. Ang salap, indeed. Look at me like this, is, you just, <laughs> you're not getting it. <laughs> it was really useful though, someone called I am Mo, I believe, left a comment regarding like how you could say, take an English word and use that to understand a Tagalog vowel and how they're quick sounding. Mm -hmm. So, Ibiza, Ibiza, Abacus, Abacus. It's really useful. I still, you explained this to me earlier, but I, I still don't get, get it. it. Well, it was useful to me. I think it, I think it makes sense. It was like using English words as an example of a quick sounding vowel. Like they're like, ab, it's like, ah, it's like abacus, ah, abacus. And then he was like, gangs in New York though, if you're talking about like sinigang, sinigang, you say it a lot faster than like, you would say like gangs of New York. Because gang in gang. English is almost like it has two A's. Is it time for another gin and tonic? <laughs> Surely, but for now, the outro. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed the hello hello. What? <laughs> Just the I thought you couldn't see the puddles of hello hello on the camera. They couldn't see the puddles. They can see the puddles. It doesn't help that we've got this wooden table either. <laughs> you got us. We are incredibly messy eaters. At least messy hello hello eaters. I think it's show it's like when you go to dim sum. Oh. <laughs> It's like when you go to dim sum. I mean, that tasted so good. <laughs> I was saving to do that until we Okay, finished. all right. Well, I couldn't help myself, I'm sorry. No, I was saying it's like when you go to dim sum and like at the end, you know it was a good meal and the tablecloth is like covered in food. Covered in food. So it must have been good hello hello. It was really, really good. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I used to do the outro, go go. The cornflakes as well, I think were a really nice touch. I haven't had cornflakes in hello hello for a while. No, I ha you've never had them. <laughs> The cornflakes were a really nice touch, actually. It, it was. It was my <laughs> one of my favourite parts, surprisingly. Because everything else is so sweet, and I, so I really enjoyed like the beans mm. and the cornflakes. Nice. And I'm so excited to have a whole batch of Uber ice cream in <laughs> the freezer. And really nice ice cream. You did an amazing job with that. I'm pleased with it. What <laughs> Sorry, you go. I was going to say, it's the first time I've been pleased with my Ube ice cream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I like it every time because you make it, but that one was the best. <laughs> And the ube hilaya as well, we've got a big batch of that. Yeah, we can make panda ube. Ooh, panda ube. Or yeah. is it panda ube or is it ube panda sal? Ah, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll have to... Just, you're obviously not asking me, you're asking them, so hopefully maybe someone can... Someone will help us. And we hope you really enjoyed today's video as much as we enjoyed the Hello Hello. And if you did, make sure you give this video a like, drop us a comment below, let us know what you thought of the video, and if there's anything else you want to recommend for us to make, and eat, that'd be amazing. Have I done everything I should have said? Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Cool. Here comes the popos. It's the sound to of the, the police. police. Whoop, whoop. It's the sound of the police. <laughs> five, <laughs> one, five, oh, oh somebody, somebody call, call the popo. Oh, oh. na, 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 na. I don't know the word. No, you know, you got five, it. One, five, one, five, oh, somebody, somebody call, call the popo. Po. Po.
And we really hope you enjoyed today's video. <laughs> as much as we enjoyed it, it was a real blast to make. Um, let us know in the comment section what you thought of today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up as well. Don't forget that. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you, <laughs> and we'll see you on the next video um, where I will be attempting to make adobo. Till then, take care. Bye.